All right, gang, about two or three weeks ago, and it may seem longer than that because I tend to make videos and take forever to post them, but I posted videos of two Evil Knievel scramble vans. Now, let me give you an update on those two vans before we talk about this treasure. One van was almost complete with a box. It was missing one of the two wheel chocks, which I've obtained one, and it was missing, I think it was a screwdriver and a crowbar. Fortunately, I found them on eBay uh, together with some other, uh, about say Big Jim, other Evil Knievel items. So I got it, so that, that one set is 100% complete. The other van I mentioned, and I don't think I pointed it out, but the uh, hitch for the trailer was damaged. It had a crack in it. Well, I was on eBay one night looking around, and I started looking at scramble vans, and there was one on there that was bleached out. Like somebody cleaned it with some harsh cleaner. The red was pink on the van. And I think it was under, shipping and all, it was under 20 bucks. So I got that van, swapped the chassis, and then the uh, that van with the bleached out colors, I had a perfect door with, with you know the hinges, both hinges was intact. So now I've got two scramble vans. One is 100% complete. One I'm gonna continue to work on getting it 100% complete. And I got two more that, you know, one is bleached out with a cracked hitch and the, uh, that I got off eBay. And the other one I picked up in town at a, at a thrift, not a thrift store, but a trade shop. All right, that's enough update. Let's talk about this. Now, I work with a guy, we're about the same age, and I knew he had Evil Knievel when he was a kid, so I had told him about that second van I had, thinking that maybe he'd be interested in, you know, giving me some money for it. Well, he wasn't interested, but he uh, told me that he had a, several other Evil Knievel items, and then his mom shows up from Florida. So he comes into work, Tells me he want to leave. He want to come out this truck, and he had this, the Evil Knievel Formula One Dragster. Now, I've never had Evil Knievel toys except for a couple of diecasts. I was an Evil Knievel freak, like every kid in the '70s. He was the main reason why I had so many headaches and, you know, knocking my breath out of me, jumping my bicycles off of a plyboard sheet in a concrete block. We was forever doing that stuff. But anyway, he brings me this. I pay him 25 bucks for it, and it's complete. And he told me, as far as he knows, that everything that came in this set is with it. It's got the, I call it launcher. Some people call it energizers or, ch or chargers. Uh, it's got a crack right here. Uh, it's, and it's been like painted over with red paint at one time. But it works, so I'm happy that it's there. The parachute, I'm not even going to show you the parachute because basically if I open it up and I held it in front of the camera, you'll see straight through the big holes and you'll see everything behind it, the car, the box, and, and the instructions. And those are the original instructions. They're not replacements. Those are original. And the car. Now, I never ever recall playing with one of these. My cousin in Alabama, I don't think he had this. He had, a, he had a bunch of stuff, but I don't think he had this. And I didn't know, I knew it was a dragster. And I'm, you know, I'm more of a pro street guy. And, you know, rails and all that are cool, but, you know, it's just something that, you know, I, I didn't desire to have. But when he offered to me 25 bucks in the box, and the box is perfect. I mean, there's no flaws in the box. I gave it to him, brought it home, and, of course, got on the floor and launched it. I actually did it in the kitchen with a, uh, you know, there's no carpet in the kitchen, so it, was, it worked really well. There's no cracks in the body. I gotta, gotta say the decals, you know, they're, they're, they're like coming loose. Uh, this one, the red stripe is still attached. The engine's not broke. The wheels are in fantastic shape. Let me flip it around. All right, here's where you hook your rubber band for the parachute to, and you push this piece in, and when the body of the car pops a wheelie, it'll depress that lever and the chute will pop out. 
Now, like I said, the shoes I got with it is in horrible shape. So if it pop, if I try to run it and it popped out, it ain't gonna stop the car. It's a it's a professional dragster's nightmare to have a shoot like that. All right, now here's the curbside. Like I said, it's in really good shape. Minimal loss on the engine of chrome. Like I said, the decals, they're in fair shape, but they could use another set. But there's something about the Formula One car look. Hold on a second. I'm not a Formula One fan, but there you go. There's the, there's the Formula One version of the Jackster Formula One car. I guess it's a pretty cool idea for them to do. Uh, apparently, you know, my knowledge of Evil Knievel wasn't that great until now, but apparently he, he did stuff in snow suits and adventures everywhere. And evidently, he had one time or another, he had a Formula One car he raced. I don't ever recall that in real life. And of course, this is a toy line, so they put, you know, put his name on everything, try to get money out of it. All right, and there's a shot of the bottom. You know, the, the power wheel, no t no cuts, nothing's wrong with it. And it, I mean, it, it's still tight. Uh, and it hooks up, and that's where you slide the, the car onto the launcher. No damage to it at all. All right, there's your front view of the, vo the box, not the Vox. <laughs> front view of the box. Uh, real good graphics, really good looking box like I said, there's no tears no no nothing nothing's wrong with it, it hasn't been retaped or anything uh, you know back then when you when I was a kid if a box got real haggard it was whatever tape I could lay my hands on and just to keep that box together unfortunately this box has never been retaped now I did ask the guy did he have other toys that from that era and he's gonna when he goes back to Florida over the holidays he's gonna look and see and send me a a text see if he's got anything I'll be interested in uh, hopefully we'll have some more stuff all right gang there's a there's another cool evil Knievel toy I don't want to start another collection but man here it goes um, if I get stuff cheap I'll, I'll get it but if I don't oh well um, I'd like to have it all in the box but I'm you know if I can't I'll be I'll be okay with that as well but guys if you had this thing man tell us a story how do you enjoy it that's it's a great little item but thanks for viewing guys and have a great evening